Hi guys, hello, my name is Hope and I'm a Cetaholic and welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you're not. I mentioned I was going to talk about this big bed that my wonderful cameraman and husband made for me this summer. You saw him building these two out and this one I tried to do some winter growing. I'm not great at it yet, but I'm learning. But one of the things I've learned is I've got some cabbage. It looks a little rough right now. I've got some kale there, some scarlet. This is a cabbage, I forget what kind. And back there I have a Verona cabbage. There's some ice from where we kind of did, we're doing a makeshift greenhouse um, layer of cover until we figure this out. And we got a little cilantro over on that side he pointed out to me. So it's not looking perfect, but we do know that broccoli, cabbage, and kale will survive here in zone 5B Chicago. I'm gonna get that little Florida broccoli. It's not a true crown at all but I'm gonna get it and we're gonna eat it just so we can be encouraged to keep growing in the winter. And I'm doing this winter gardening series to encourage each and every one of you to keep growing too. Doesn't matter what zone you're in. One of the things that Mr. Coleman's book says is if you add one layer of cover, that takes you 500 miles to the south. 500 miles for me takes me, one layer takes me to down to Arkansas, to zone 8A. So, I can actually grow broccoli in December. Today is December 22nd. I can grow cilantro. I can grow kale and cabbage, and you can too. So I just wanna encourage you to give it a try. Nothing beats a failure but a try. So let's try this winter gardening thing all together, and let's try to keep eating all winter long. So tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm sure you all will, <laughs> and be encouraged and as always blessings of bounty to you and yours in this and every gardening season just so you guys know remember winter is now a gardening season see you guys next time